Hello you guys, welcome to this video. So today we are doing a home update. Um, yeah, it's been a while since we last did one of these, so I have a lot of stuff to show you guys. Some of the updates you might have already seen on some of my previous videos, but I've never addressed them in a home update. Also, there's a squirrel on this tree outside. Look at this guy. He's the one that's making a mess on my balcony. He keeps eating these figs, I think. <laughs> I'm gonna take you guys around and show you some of the changes that I've made to my home. Also, I'm sure a lot of you guys know who Paige Bossel is. She does interior design, interior decorating content on YouTube, and she's also a professional prop stylist. And I've been a longtime viewer of her channel, and she is a big source of inspiration for me when it comes to interior stuff. And she recently reached out to me and asked to do a home tour of my house for her series, Check Out This Effing Home. So, yeah, she is gonna be coming next month to do that. So I've kind of found this newfound motivation again to get my rooms and my house all figured out. And not like completely finished because I don't wanna just like rush and finish something, but just to make it so every room is presentable, you know? So yeah, uh, let's just go around my house, show you some of the changes I've made and some of the things I plan to do. Okay, let's start. So here we are the living room. Um, I feel like the living room's changed a lot since you guys last saw it. So we finally have curtains. If you've been watching my previous videos and you know that I've had these for a while. Um, but these are seriously so nice. I'm really happy I didn't go with those automatic blinds because I think the curtains add a lot um, to the space and make it feel really, really tall. They work really well and they're super easy to use. My Dracaena kind of blocks the curtains a little bit. So I have to work my way around the tree sometimes. They honestly weren't that expensive, at least compared to what I was quoted at other uh, curtain stores, which was like, I was quoted like $7,000 or more for curtains, but these were um, like 1,200 and I got them done from a small business and my landlord paid for them. So that's great. We have curtains on this side and then also on this side and I'm pretty sure they're like a linen blend and it still lets a lot of light through, but you can't see inside of the house from outside, which is what I really wanted. I am probably super backlit right now, but here is where we used to have a really big TV. Um, but yeah, I moved the TV from here because I feel like it's just so large and massive for the space that it's super distracting and it also blocks a ton of light because like it blocks a large portion of this window and now that we have curtains, there's less light coming in. Um, so yeah, I still have the TV. I just moved it, you guys will see. Um, I moved it over towards the fireplace for now, but I am really considering getting a smaller TV. For now in this area, I just have the plants that I repotted in my previous video. They're gonna be moving around the house. I think I'm gonna have a couple in my bedroom, um, but for now they're just right here. Oh, and then for my Dracaena Reflexa, I used to have a plastic saucer underneath, but I just recently got this um, really big, nice handmade saucer for it. So I think it looks a lot better. So Theo just moved into the sun. From my last home updates video, this area looks a lot different and I'm really happy with the changes that I've made. Um, so the TV is right there by the fireplace right now, uh, just because I wanted to move it out of the way and I am trying to sell it right now. So that's not gonna be there. But as you can see, I've moved this chair. This chair used to be where the camera is by the window. Um, and I moved it over here because if you guys remember in my previous home updates video, I was having like a lot of difficulty trying to figure out how I can separate the space of the living room and then kind of like the office area where the fireplace is. I think this chair does a really good job at separating the space. You can see how the chair looks from that angle when you walk in. Also, now that you know this area doesn't have a chair here, it's a lot easier to access the curtain and it gives a better view of the window. So now the window's a lot more opened up as well. Also, I really didn't like sitting on the chair when it was against the window because it felt mm, like uncomfortable having the window behind me. I feel like that's a feng shui thing, but I'm not sure. I had this tall begonia that I had outside, but I repotted it into a smaller pot and then put it here. Um, so this is a door, but we never use the door, so 
it's not really blocking anything and if we do need access to the door you can still open it it just might like push up against the begonia a little bit so yeah not like a fire hazard blocking the door i really like it i think it looks cool there and you can really see the silhouette of the begonia against the window this area we've changed a ton cut down on a lot of the furniture that i brought in just because it was just like it was too much honestly i really wanted it to work but it just didn't so i just sold the stuff on facebook marketplace and what's nice about like the furniture that i get is that most of it is not brand new you know it's just from second hand on facebook marketplace so switching out these pieces isn't wasteful and i end up not really losing any money because i sell the stuff for the same price that i bought it for you know a lot of you guys also said it was too cluttered and i agree it was just like too much furniture it was kind of spaced weird i just try things out you know and if it doesn't work then it doesn't work we used to have the futon back here and then we had the desk here which looked kind of weird um so yeah i got rid of the futon i sold it on facebook marketplace and then we also had this like black cabinet thing um that i was just like well might as well just try it out to see if i like something in this area but it was it was just too much it didn't really work but i am getting one of the artworks that i got in vietnam uh, stretched on a canvas and then i'm gonna put it here i ended up flipping the desk around so that way like the front is in the back and the back is in the front as you can see with these cabinets and that's because i felt like that was just too much open shelving with the bookshelves behind and also the other bookshelves that we have in the living room it might look kind of funny but it also serves a really good purpose for me with hiding wires i'm able to tuck all my wires in there and hide them i'm not too great at cable management as you can see but at least they're tucked away if i didn't flip the desk i honestly don't know where these wires would go i ended up moving a lot of the books that were over on this side of the shelf to this side and then also to the bookshelf in the living room because i felt like it was just too too many books like it just felt really it just felt like a lot a little bit chaotic not really like designed super well i just put little things that i have um, on the shelf like i have my camera stuff here that's all very practical for me because i'm like grabbing my camera stuff all the time and then i just have some pots and pots and whatnot um, but yeah i think this looks a lot better and less cluttered than how we had it before. Someone made a comment saying that they think it would look really good if I painted my bookshelf back here. And I agree, but I'm a little bit worried because I've actually never painted anything before. So paint kind of scares me just because I've never painted a room before. Or like, I never chose my own colors. I helped my mom paint and stuff, but like, I never made the executive decision on what colors to use. Um, but I really love this color. So I've had this little Eames house art piece, cardboard piece for a while. And I am a big fan of this like dusty blue color. Um, I think it's actually kind of trendy right now, but I've liked it for a while. And I'm not saying like, oh, I'm cool because I liked it before it was trendy. But I'm just saying that even like after it stops being trendy, I'll still like it because I liked it before I saw it as a trend. So yeah, I'm gonna bring this to like a paint store and then ask them to color match this. And then we will try to paint it. I also want to paint other rooms of the house, like the small rooms and maybe... Oh, thank you. you want to come? I want to paint other rooms of the house, maybe like the downstairs bedroom or the smaller rooms like the bathrooms. Paint really does transform a space and all of the walls in my house right now are white or like a creamy yellow. I wasn't sure about this mirror here. I thought it looked kind of odd, but I actually really like how it reflects the window. Like when you walk in, it reflects the window and all this greenery and it looks, looks really nice. Okay, we are in the upstairs bedroom and I was gonna do the downstairs first. I'm gonna go through all of that, but I decided that it would be a good idea to try and do the upstairs first before it gets too hot. I have to turn off the fan, otherwise I think it's too loud for the mic. We recently got this rug. I don't know what color it looks like on screen, but it's like a blue gray color. It's a little more gray than I wanted it to be, but um, that is okay. I think it's still really nice to have a rug down here. So since we added that light blue rug in here, I moved the blue bedding that we had downstairs. And I think that works really well because we have a red rug in there um, and you guys will see it soon but yeah because we have the blue rug here it kind of clashed a lot with the blue 
betting that we had. We reached out to Brooklyn Inn and got another sponsorship. So thank you to Brooklyn Inn for sponsoring this video. Um, this is their organic cotton sheets bundle. I got it in this color that's called moss, but it's kind of more like a, I feel like it's a mushroomy chartreuse kind of color. Brooklinen is a luxury sheets company that creates high quality home goods. And Brooklinen was founded on the philosophy that people deserve simple and beautiful home essentials at a fair price. I really like this color. I feel like it kind of acts as a neutral, but it's more interesting. The organic sheets are cool and crisp with a breathable 300 thread count. They're made in Portugal with 100 GOTS certified organic cotton. The organic hardcore bundle comes with everything you need to make over your bed. Four pillowcases, a duvet cover, a flat sheet, and a fitted sheet. These sheets are perfect for hot sleepers and they help you stay cool all night. Um, and you guys know how hot it is up here. I am sweating right now. Brooklinen is having their Labor Day sale right now and all of their products are 20% off um, until September 6th. Once again, thank you to Brooklinen for sponsoring this video and to get your own sheets, um, check out the description and click the link below. If you watched one of my previous vlogs, you saw that I set this curtain up. A lot of you are wondering where I got it. I got it from a Korean store called Design Meme. So you can look up Design Meme and then you'll find, you'll find them. But it's really pretty. It is a style of curtain um, that's called Pojagi, Pogaji, Pojagi or Pojagi or Pogaji. I can't remember. Um, but yeah, it's like a patchwork curtain. Super pretty. But uh, I think I'm, so I like the little wire thing, but I don't know. It's like, I don't know if I installed it correctly or what. So I think I'm actually just going to put track curtains in instead, like put a track rail and then still use this curtain. This bean bag is here. It doesn't really make, you know, that much design sense, but it's here because it allows Theo to jump on and off the bed at night. Um, so yeah, it's not the best design wise, but yeah, you know, I got to make design exceptions for my baby. Theo, where are you? Theo, want to come up? Look at him. He's down there. Theo, you want to come upstairs with me? There you are. Hi, baby. So yeah, without the beanbag, he can't get on and off on his own. So this is the room that I really want to get some work done on um, before the video with Paige because it's just very like basic right now and it doesn't look super interesting. It's just very like, color blocked, like bed, rug, one color, one color. And then the curtain is also color blocked. Um, so I am trying to figure out what I want to do with this wall. Maybe add some pattern on the bed. I don't know if I love the Monstera here. Um, it just grows super well in this spot and I don't really have another place to put something this large. Like I don't know where I'd put it in the rest of my house where it would also get adequate light. I don't know what I want to do for this wall. I think ideally it would be like a large art piece would look good here. I just don't have a large art piece and don't know if I want to spend money on a large art piece, but I'll probably go to the Pasadena Rose Bowl or something or some big flea market and look for some artwork. Maybe I can make it myself. I haven't painted in years though. I used to do oil painting when I was little, like 13 to 16 or 17. I was doing oil painting and I think I might want to get back into that. That way I can make my own art and have my own color palettes and it would just be a lot easier. Um, but yeah, I kind of forgot how to paint. Okay, and now let's head out to the balcony. So we have some changes. Check this out. We have an outdoor couch. Um, so now there's actually like something to do up here before we just had a hammock. Um, and now also we have this umbrella, which is pretty nice, but I think I want to get a shade cloth so that way more of the balcony space is covered. And also that way I can grow some plants up here because it's just way too hot really for any plants other than like some uh, really hardy cactus and aloe and stuff like that. We have this fig tree here and it's super pretty. It gives us some shade, um, but it is quite messy. Look at all this. So it's all like little fig bits and stuff that fall on the couch. And I'm pretty sure it's because either we have birds that are eating the figs or there are squirrels up there eating the figs. Um, they make kind of like a little bit of a mess, but I don't really mind too much. I think it's kind of cool that we have little critters living up here too. And it's not so hard to clean. I just have to wipe it off. Um, and then in the fall, winter, there won't be leaves and fruit here. So it's not going to be like a problem all year round. I am going to do some plant stuff up here as well. I'm just waiting for it to be not super hot because it's quite difficult to work outside right now. 
Um, if you're in California, you probably know how hot it's been lately. I'm gonna do like a video where I do kind of some outside stuff where I um, putting together the balcony and also this front area that where I did my uh, repotting video just when I just did the last video I worked out there so I'm gonna set up that area a little bit because I haven't really decorated it at all I still need to do this plant stuff over here but yeah, I think this area is gonna be really cool like imagine a shade cloth and then plants yeah it'll be nice here we are in the dining room and I don't remember what this area actually looked like the last time you guys saw it, but I think this is what I changed. Um, so this cabinet used to be over here. And so I shifted it this way and I added this Dracaena marginata here. This used to be outside, but I moved it inside and I think it works really well, like right in that spot. I have some of the dinnerware displayed here from the brand that did the photo shoot at my house called Aras. Maybe add something in the center, like a like a flower arrangement for when Paige comes, um, just so that way this isn't as barren. Normally I have a bowl of fruit here, but I only have bananas right now, so it looked kind of weird just being like a bowl of bananas. I'll show you guys. I had this there before, but I moved it just now because I thought it looked kind of silly just having bananas on the table. And here in the kitchen, not much has changed, but I do want to do a few things before Paige does her video. Um, I want to hang some artwork up here because it's, it has these little peg, pegboard holes in it that I can hang hooks from. Um, and it's really empty right now. And I think some small artworks would look cool up there. Just imagine like a few things like this a few things like this up here. Can you guys, can you guys see the vision? I want to set up my magnetic knife rack here and maybe um, put some utensils, like cooking utensils there as well. This stuff is just there because there's already hooks there. I have this donabe, I think that's how you pronounce it. It's like a ceramic Japanese rice cooker, but you can also cook a lot of other stuff in it. And I love this thing. I've been so into cooking with it. It makes the rice. Well, maybe it's placebo, but I think it makes the rice taste a lot better. And it also just looks really pretty. Overall, I feel like the kitchen is pretty cute. Not too much needs to be done to it. We use this room as the guest bedroom and then also where Chris has his PC set up. So it's still pretty early in the afternoon, so there isn't a lot of light coming in. I'll make sure to include some clips of it during the later afternoon slash evening because the light that comes in through here is so pretty. But this is where I moved the blue bed sheets. I think it just fits really well in this room and then with the blue and the red i really like that combo and then on the window i just pinned up this curtain that i had that i had at my other apartment but we just didn't put it up yet it's supposed to be vertical but i thought it looked kind of cute horizontal like that and when the light comes in the curtain diffuses it so so beautifully because this is a type of silk and it's also a yellowish warm color so when the light comes in it it's really warm. This curtain is from the same place where I got the other curtain upstairs. It is from a Korean design studio called Design Meme. This area is the other side of the room and it's kind of a mess right now because our friend is actually staying over here for a little bit because he's moving up north. Um, he's moving up to San Francisco and he's like using this as a rest spot for a little bit. Um, so yeah, it's pretty messy. Usually it would just be Chris's computer stuff and then some office supply things over on this side. But yeah, I am going to add a track curtain right here. Um, that way this area of the room can be divided when a guest stays over because I feel like having Chris's computer in here for a guest makes it not really feel like, mm, like a neutral space, you know? It makes it feel like it's Chris's room, um, which it kind of is in a way, but I feel like having a curtain here to be able to block it off when guests stay over would be really nice um, for them and just make it feel like a nice little enclosed space. I got some curtains on Etsy and they should be delivered pretty soon and I'm gonna install the track rail right here. And I, I think it's gonna look pretty nice. The last room that I wanna show you guys is a room that I've probably never really talked about that much and it is the bathroom. So we have a bathroom right here. And the reason why I haven't talked about it that much is because, well, like, don't get me wrong, I love the house, but I think the main downside about this house are 
the bathrooms. My landlord, I love her to death, but she is very into DIY. And you can kind of see it <laughs> um, in the bathroom. Oh, also this house is just really old, so the bathrooms are pretty outdated. So here is the downstairs bathroom. Um, it's quite yellow in here because the walls aren't painted white, they're painted like a yellow color. And all the lighting in here is also very yellow, so I think sometimes it can make this bathroom feel a little bit dingy. We have like this bathtub here that is so close to the toilet. Such a weird design. I'm gonna put this up in here, um, inside of this bathroom, so that's why it's just sitting in the tub right now. Usually I like to leave the main light off, and then I just use this light for now. Um, because it makes the bathroom feel a lot nicer. So I wanted to put something here to kind of cover the window a little bit, um, but I wanted it to still let the light in because it is pretty dark in here. Um, and I got this idea from Pinterest and I really like how it looked on the photo. It just looked very like homemade and airy and breezy and natural kind of. And it does look like that in here when the light comes in, but when I turn on these yellow lights, I feel like it just looks a little bit dingy. Um, so that's why I normally don't turn on these overhead lights. So these fabric panels are made of an old curtain that I had, and I took the old curtain to a tailor, and then I asked her to sew them like this, and then add these things. I forget what these are called. Grommets, I think? But yeah, she added these grommets, so that way um, I can just easily hang them up with a tiny little nail like that. And if I want to fold it up, like fold the curtain up, I can just use the nail and then pin it kind of like this. Um, so yeah, I thought it looked pretty cool and I haven't really seen anything like this before. So that is why I did this. I feel like this bathroom would look a lot better if it was painted a different color. Also the floor in here, can you guys hear it? Super squeaky. I think if there was different flooring, well, actually, honestly, I think the bathroom isn't too great <laughs> as a whole. Oh, I wanted to show you guys like the DIY part that I was telling you about. Okay, turning on the overhead lights, it's about to look really bad. This sink, my landlord made herself. Um, I think this is like a old piece of marble. It's like chipped there. Um, yeah, so she made this. And I added this curtain here because uh, I have, it's a mess back here, but you can see like all of the plumbing and stuff. And yeah, so I just added this curtain and it makes the bathroom look so much nicer because all of that, all of the pipes and everything are covered up. Um, so it looks a lot cleaner in here now. I have this little cabinet thing that I wanted to put, I think, right here. Okay, so now that we have that little cabinet there, I think it's pretty cute. So I can put some stuff in there, like maybe my skincare stuff. And then this is what the floor looks like. We've cleaned it and scrubbed it so much, but it still looks like a little dirty. But this would look, this bathroom would look so much better with new flooring and different paint. And then also maybe a different sink. And then maybe not having this giant bathtub there. So while Chris and I were in Japan, no one was here to water our plants. Um, we don't have any like irrigation set up. So this whole area that we planted pretty much died. <laughs> and then also we have this mimosa tree above this yard and it makes such a big mess with all of the flowers that fall down. Um, so this yard kind of just got trashed. I am working with this local business called Hardy Californians and they specialize in California native plants and we are going to partner together to redo sorry waiting for the truck to leave yeah we're going to partner together to redo this little square area and I'll put the site plan right here for you guys so you guys can have an idea um, of what that's going to look like we came up with some really cool ideas and I think it's going to look really good I'm super excited for it that's probably not going to happen until like December November, January, he said that it's best to start planting outside um, when you get the first rain. So yeah, we're kind of waiting until then to start 
the process. We're also going to be removing a ton of ivy because this yard is just covered in ivy, which makes it really hard to grow anything just because the ivy is overtaking everything. So yeah, we're going to be removing that. And then I'm also going to see if I can trim some of that mimosa tree that's making such a big mess because once we reach fall, it's also going to drop all of its leaves and then make a huge mess in the yard um, again. Here is that evil mimosa tree. I mean, it's pretty, it's nice, but see all in this tree, there's like this sort of stuff, this messy stuff. All of that is from the mimosa tree and it just falls on everything. Like you can see with this agave, it's just covered in all of that stuff. And it just makes it so difficult to keep this place clean. The transformation of this front garden area is gonna be its own video. Um, won't be out for a while, but just to get you guys excited about future plan. We have some of my trees, like my maple tree, my mimosa tree that's so much smaller. This is also a mimosa tree, but because it's potted and tiny, it's not growing like super crazy. Um, my little bench pond, this papyrus is growing really well. I'm gonna be redoing this area in, I think maybe my next video where I like redo the outside areas. Um, it's about to cool down soon, so I think it's gonna be perfect to film that. And then look at my platycerium out here. It's doing pretty well. It's putting out a bunch of new growth right now. Okay, before you guys leave, I wanted to just say that Jahao and I, we are gonna be hosting a plant swap on September 17th in downtown Los Angeles. I'll have more info and stuff later on my Instagram, but I just wanted to let you guys know. Um, yeah, very excited. We're also making t-shirts for the event, which will be on sale at the event. And then I'll also have a few available online as well. Um, but yeah, thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed this home updates. And also thank you to Brooklinen for sponsoring this video. These sheets are very comfy. Okay, see you guys later. Goodbye.